Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I'm here today with the eighth and last pattern from the Itch to Stitch So Beautiful book. Um, it's been a long week. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed just something a little bit different and showcasing each of these patterns separately in their own videos throughout the entire week. If not, I'm sorry, we'll resume back to normal tomorrow. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got to test all eight of these patterns and just loved them so much and really wanted to highlight each pattern individually. It's just such a good bang for your buck because there's eight patterns but 18 variations. Um, it's a great idea for to give yourself or to give the idea to someone to give to you or to give to another seamstress in your life. It's a fantastic uh, book. It's just she's done a really really good job with the patterns. Um, again the patterns are in her old size range so from a US double zero to a US size 20. Um, there's no cup sizing in these patterns but they're all beginner friendly. I'm normally a size 8 with a D cup. I've not had to do full bust adjustments on any of these um, so you know keep that in mind, you know, that's my size, but um, you may or may not have to do a full bust adjustment, even if you have to do it on other patterns. Um, anyway, uh, she's just done a really good job of keeping things easy. There's no closures on any of these. They're very beginner friendly, or if you're someone that's more experienced, they're wonderful to try new fabrics or different um, hacking and all that kind of stuff, which I've shared some this past week as well. So today we have the last pattern, and it's the Orosi. I think I'm saying that right. Um, it comes as a top or a dress, like a peplum top or a dress. It has two necklines, a V neckline or a beautiful scarf neckline, and two sleeve lengths, short sleeve or long sleeve. So while there's technically three versions here, obviously you can mix and match all of those to the nth degree. <laughs> you know. Um, so there's a, a really a lot of options with this last one. Now this is the last one in the book, meaning it's the most difficult, although the most difficult, if you're doing the scarf um, neckline, that is definitely more difficult than the V neckline. Um, and then also you're using some clear elastic to gather the peplum pieces to the bottom of the skirt or the peplum. Um, but other than that, again, these are all very adventurous beginner, I would call them. Um, she just does a great job in her instructions of holding her hand through all of that. Um, also, this book comes in a hard copy where you have to trace the pattern or a PDF, like an ebook, where you get the PDF patterns, just to kind of let you know. So, again, I've pattern tested all of these back in uh, this time last year, and then um, I wanted to remake quite a few, I made, remade seven of the eight um, for this um, book release because I really wanted to showcase. Um, how they could also be used for colder weather fabrics. Now, for this last pattern, I basically made the same pattern, I, the same everything. <laughs> because when I was doing this, uh, the testing back in uh, this time last year, I'd not had my colors done yet. And I really, um, I'm just not crazy about these colors on me. Um, so I, I did it in some that I am crazy about. So there we go. <laughs> All right, so this is the one I made during testing. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just, you know, not that it looks bad, the color looks bad on me, it's just not one I grab for because I don't feel radiant in it. And now that I've had my colors done, I only want to grab things I feel radiant in because why not? <laughs> it's 2020 and I want to feel radiant. Um, but I made the scarf top version, um, which is a little tricky. Just go slow. She has great illustrations and instructions on this. So the, the collar is gathered here and then it goes around to finish off the neckline. And then this little piece here, there's a, a finished off hole there. And that tucks through like so. Super easy. Hold on. You have to grab the correct thing. <laughs> that goes through the hole like that, and then just creates this really beautiful um, kind of scarf detail for the neckline. I've just never seen anything like that, um, and I'm so glad I tested that because I was so curious about how that would work. Um, I made the size eight. I shortened the sleeves by an inch, which I always have to do with all of her patterns, and that works perfectly, and then left the rest of it as is. This is a cotton spandex, but a light cotton spandex. Um, it's actually uh, Liberty uh, jersey, which I actually as someone said, I think a Liberty Angel died somewhere last time I said this. I do not really like the Liberty jersey. Just putting that out there. I find it to be quite thin um, and so-so recovery. I love Liberty Cotton Lawn. I think that their Tana Cotton Lawn is aces and it's like touching angel wings. <laughs> but I don't like their cotton jersey. So there you have it. Um, 
anyway, so that's what I made with this one. And I've worn it. I wore it quite a bit last fall and winter after I had made it um, and got compliments on it. It's just a really cute style. Um, but I wanted to make it in colors that I was more, uh, more me. So um, this one I think is probably going to be retired, uh, donated, probably to my cousin, <laughs> who does look good in these colors. So there is that one. But I remade it, the same top, in this rayon jersey. Now, time will tell how well this rayon jersey holds up. I got this from uh, Zinx Fabrics, and so it's a pretty lightweight rayon jersey, and sometimes rayon jerseys can get pretty yucky. If you've ever bought anything from Target, for instance, they do not like to be washed and dried at all, which is a little annoying with your rayon. Um, I mean, technically, you shouldn't wash, you shouldn't dry any of your rayon in the dryer, but let's be honest, we all live in a... <laughs> How, there's only so many things I'm willing to hang up to air dry. We're just going to put it that way. I probably will with this because I do want it to last. The color is just very interesting. So it's a chocolate, but as you can see, it's almost like it's got little purple undertones. It's almost like a raisin color, really, which is why I bought it. The color was just so interesting. It was just so different. Um, so I may dry though. I let this one hang to dry just so we can get some longevity out of it. But other than that, I paid like next to nothing for the fabric because I got it in that Zinx haul. Um, I mean, literally like a dollar ninety nine yard, I think. I love it though so much. I just, I really love the peplum and this drapier fabric. I love the scarf and the drapier fabric. Even though that cotton jersey wasn't very thick, um, it still, ha it was still more bodied than this rayon. I just think this is so cute. Um, again, the longer sleeves, shortened by an inch. Did I say that already? I probably did. Um, just the straight size eight. She has this beautiful curve in the front that I think is super flattering. Um, and I don't feel pregnant in it. You know, sometimes with the peplum tops, the looser fitting tops, you feel like it looks maternity. But I think that this is, hits like it's the perfect length. Um, and then it's longer, you know, it drops down more in the back there. Um, sorry, I'm holding it weird on the hanger too. So it's a little bit different in the front as it is in the back, but I just think it's so cute and so different. I've not made the dress version. I think it looks adorable though, and I've seen many testers that have made it, so maybe sometime in the future. Um, but yeah, it, once again, it's just very, she just did a really good job of keeping things a very flattering cut. Look how thin this is though. You can even see the hanger through that. We'll see how this fabric holds up. <laughs> I hope it does though. I love the color. Um, but there you have it. That is the Arosi. And again, it comes in two different necklines, although the scarf neckline, I've just never seen anything like that. It's so cool. Um, and then also a V neckline and then on, in the dress and top and a short sleeve and a long sleeve. And that is the sleeve that I used on my, um, Prague, the cold shoulder top to make it not cold shoulder. So that is the sleeve that I used for that one. So it's a nice, uh, all around good, um, knit sleeve to have. Okay, guys, that's all I've got. We're at the end. I hope you enjoyed this week of so beautiful promotional videos uh, of highlighting all the different patterns. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow, not for a um, so beautiful related video, but if you would like to see these pieces mix and match with my closet, let me know and I can probably do a video a little bit later with all that. Um, tomorrow I'm actually going to have a plans video, so um, we'll be delving into that um, and then back to, you know, per normal. Then we'll have the vlog and then a Friday video and we'll go back to the regular schedule. All right, guys, I have an affiliate link for the book if you'd like to pre-order it. Uh, that means I make a commission off of it. You don't pay any extra, but just so I like to be upfront about that, um, I do make a commission off that link if you are interested. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you tomorrow with business as usual here on the channel. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you then. Bye!